And now, it's time for everyone's favorite girl to speak. Happy! Because the girl is so sweet. Hi everyone! Yes, you've guessed it. We're back at Drexel Park. It's a beautiful day, and I just want to share some Honey Says Letters with you. So, come with me. Let's look into the briefcase and see what we have. Dear Honeybee, I've been seeing this guy for a few months and we have really strong sexual chemistry. Whenever we see each other, it's such a great time, but he works a lot, so I have to wait until he's available to see him. He isn't much of a phone person either, so we text sometimes, and when I call him, he'll pick up or he'll call me back. At first, I was fine with the arrangement, but now it's driving me insane because I really like him more and more. Ever since I told him I wanted us to be a little more, it seems like he's been texting me less and less. Do you think he's afraid of commitment, which is why I'm getting the cold shoulder? Help, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. First things first, I don't do the guys that say I only text. No, 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 no. Texting has been like the past few years phenomenon. It hasn't been going on for ages. You know, what is this, I only text? First of all, so many messages get misconstrued through text messaging so that's not even an effective way of communicating with me if you're trying to date me and i think that you're trying to date him so is he really trying to date you ask yourself that um also i tell women stand for something or stand for nothing at all if you like a guy that calls you at least once a day then say that never settle for the guy that just says oh i just text just because you really like him because then you find yourself in this boat right here i mean are you kidding me you only text me and that sometimes you pick up and not all the time? No. It sounds to me that you could be a jump off. And the reason I say this is because you only see him when he's available, not when you are. You see him only maybe a few weeks at a time and you're having sexual chemistry but not any real commitment. You're not really doing anything that says, you know, I'm trying to be in a relationship. You're not really going on dates like that. You didn't really mention that. Um, he text, he's texting you less and less. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if you tried calling him after 9, 10 p.m. every day if he doesn't pick up. Because usually people who are already in relationships or already seeing someone else, they usually don't pick up in the evenings because they're with that other person, you know? You have to really look for clues so that you won't get exploited. You get what I'm saying? So honestly, if I was you, I would let this one go. It seems to me that the sexual chemistry is what's keeping you two together. You don't really have a lot in common or you really don't know if you do because you're not really allowing it. And honestly, how do you know if he really likes you for you and not just your body? Maybe you should remove the sex portion next time you see him and see if he's still interested. That'll let you know also whether or not you're just a jump off. So, not to hurt your feelings, but that's what I think. Check you out later. If you have questions or comments about this particular letter, please email us back at teamhoneybee at gmail.com. I'm always open. Check you out later. Be sure to watch more of The Buzz Club every Tuesday night at 9.30 p.m. on Philadelphia's Comcast, Channel 66, and Verizon, Channel 29.